Hi, I'm Eric Kai, the chemical statistician. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for phosphorus pentachloride. In previous videos, I showed how to draw the Lewis structures for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, the carbonate ion, boron trifluoride, and tetrafluoroborate. If you haven't watched those videos yet, then I encourage you to do that first. In this video, I'm going to highlight the special phenomenon that's known as the, the expanded octet. But first, as always, when we draw a Lewis structure, we need to start by counting the valence electrons in the constituent atoms. We know that phosphorus has five valence electrons, and we know that each of those five chlorines has seven valence electrons. In total, that gives us 40 valence electrons. So, at this point, we need to determine the arrangement of those constituent atoms in the molecule. And I encourage you to think about electronegativities. Chlorine is more electronegative than phosphorus, so it makes sense to put the more electronegative atoms in the periphery and the less electronegative atom in the center. Now that we have the structure, let's distribute those 40 electrons. We begin with the bonds, and I assume that the bonds are single bonds. That is not always true, but it's a good starting point. That takes away 10 electrons, so we now need to distribute the other 30 electrons, and I encourage you to distribute them amongst the atoms in the periphery. So each of those five chlorines will get six electrons. Now, you can clearly see that the phosphorus has more than eight electrons around it. This can exist because phosphorus has d orbitals, and that's where the extra electrons go to. Recall that the octet rule works for atoms with atomic numbers 1 to 20. Beyond that, those atoms have d electrons. Sorry. Those atoms have d orbitals. So the octet rule is violated for those elements. Phosphorus is in the third period. So it has d orbitals. OK, so this is a phenomenon known as the expanded octet. And that is the Lewis structure for phosphorus pentachloride. If you'd like to learn more about statistics, chemistry, machine learning, or math, please visit my blog, The Chemical Statistician, where you can also get career advice for your professional development. You can find me on Twitter at ChemStatEric. Visit my YouTube channel to watch more video tutorials on statistics or chemistry. You can also catch my new talk show, The Central Equilibrium, in which I interview guests about technical topics in math, science, or economics. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something useful today.